So you're about to see a drive around down to Kael Savachi, our little village. And I'm doing it slightly different this time. I'm coming in from the top and I'm going around all the little villas and the little side streets before we get down to the village. Then I got down to the village, I turned around just up there and went for a beer <laughs> at uh, Little Germany. Hope you don't mind. So this is the drive around Kael Savachi, the hidden portion. Enjoy. Well, here we are on the TF-47 or the TF-47 and we're just passing the Cayo Grand. That's the four-star hotel at the top of the village and coming to the roundabout where you got to turn left down to our village. Beautiful sunset. Looks like an atomic bomb. Boom. Little pitch and put there. Now, whenever I've done a drive around, I've I've not turned left here. This is a an area called Mariben. So we're going to have a look now. Looks quite well maintained. Rockdale Condi in the background. take a right here this takes us into like a one-way system around about five o'clock at night sun going down I just love the way that the Sun shines on the mountains. Over that wall is the Barranco, not allowed to build there. been in a couple of these houses and uh, they're quite spacious quite modern not very wheelchair friendly though and that was Maraben So we carry on down now towards the village, passing the villas on the right. And we're going to go and have a look at the back of these villas now. Actually, with it being a double L, it would actually be called a Via. And with it being a B, it would be called Bia. So actually they're called Bias. <laughs> 
that would be interesting to know how they're actually pronounced. Villa. Villa. Well, who'd have thought it? Behind the beers are more beers. Well, here's one being built or renovated. Looks like built. Bit of a dead end. Let's turn right by this new one. Even more beers. Another dead end. Or cul de sac. Or cul de sac. Oh, we're down into the sunset again. That's bright, isn't it? I'm assuming this is going to be a dead end as well. Probably on about 10 cameras right now. What's he doing? That looks like a nice one on the left there. I'll have to go back when it's finished and show you guys. It's amazing how this trip took the exact amount of time that the song is. So you can only come out of this right hand thing and turning left down there goes down to our house. So we're going to carry on right down the bottom here, past the church. I've never actually seen anybody in this church, but there is sermons there. I think it's Russian. Uh, let's have a look at the back here. So we're going to turn around some more villas. Bias. Which way, which way, which way? Uh, left. Are you going to find, see if I can do a, a turnaround here? A villa with all the uh, eagles on top. That was uh, Johnny Gold's. God rest his soul. I just love the sun up here, don't you? Ah, I know where I am now. Villa on the left there, I was Santa Claus one year. And if you walk over these fields on the left, you get to the other part of Kaosavaki that I haven't shown you at all. I have to do that one as well. So if we carry straight on over here, then it's my house, but we're going back down to the village.
just past the church there's like a little offices that's where my landlord or the owner of the complex lives or not lives that's his office uh, this one on the left here just before the hotel so we got the Kao Garden Hotel this is the Blue Sea Kao Garden quite popular but lots of stairs and the next one down over the Barranco is uh, on the left is the Tropical Park which is a timeshare and on the right is the entrance to Sueno Azul Blue Dreams we're not going there today And actually, the one on the right here was the Merlin Resort, and it's been derelict for years. And it got bought, and it's been updated. So that's not too bad. This is the main roundabout of the, in the village. On the left there, you've got three restaurants. Two you can see, the Nebula at the bottom and the one at the top. And then there's one on the back corner, which is one of my favourites, actually. South American. Then you've got all your shops on the left. Pharmacia, bakery, butchers, electrical shop. And the Eclipse Spa. I don't know if you remember the, uh, the walk around I did there. If you didn't, I shall link it in the corner upstairs up here. So we're coming down to the main square of the village now, which is beautiful. It's got two tiers. You can sit in the front or you can go down one more tier. And basically, once you're down there, there's nothing to see apart from the beautiful sunset and that atomic bomb. Which it actually is an atomic bomb. The sun is an atomic bomb. <laughs> or actually, it's a, a reactor, atomic reactor. A little Germany on the left. Won't be going there today. And this is the Atlantic Holiday Company, very Scandinavian. Don't think it's open at the moment. And at the bottom, El Delfin. Again, we're not doing the beach today. We've done the beach already. So what are we going to do now? Well, funny enough, Axel's going to wave <laughs> and I'm going to end up going for a beer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications, will you? You can also follow us on uh, Facebook, Instagram. We do Twitter, but I don't react to Twitter. It just gets automatically updated with my Instagram feed. So if you're a Twitterite, you'll see my Instagram feed on there as well. I actually left the camera running on top of the car here <laughs> for half an hour. So if you want to see footage of people walking past, uh, there's me coming back. Look, I just remember. No, this is half an hour later. Oh, that's it. Okay. There's no sound on this, so uh, I didn't have my microphone in. I don't think it's half an hour later, actually, because I just bought the beer. Oh, nice sunset there. Through the wicker fence. I wish I'd gone over now and filmed that. I didn't. I got the bin instead. <laughs> so we go through the Romantica. This is actually public right of way. It's just that they're tolerated to have the, uh, have the tables here. That's why they've got to keep a, a clear path through. There's Kirsten. Little Germany. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for staying with me. I'm going to drink this, and we'll see you in the next one. There he is. Watch him scuff this now. If you like these drive arounds, just let me know in the comments. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that little bell. And we'll see you in the next one.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. So the next one, leave a comment where you'd like me to go. Or better still, go to Google Maps and create a route and send me the link. That should be interesting. I've tried it before. I'll, uh, I'll do a little video of how to do that if you want. Give us a link down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications for when I upload new videos. And we'll see you in the next one. It's Tim Dow for Living with MS in Tenerife. Signing off. Bye.